So good morning, my colleagues, and I do hope everyone is well. And uh, I want to talk about uh, pick up now. After we talked about future value, I'd like to talk about uh, present value of a, of a single amount of money, right? So kind of it's kind of like just the opposite. Uh, you know, it's the opposite. Now you know the future and you want to find out the present, okay? So it's the value in today's dollars of some future cash flow. So this is the important statement here, and, and we'll uh, highlight that statement. An equivalent definition is that the present value is the amount that one would have to invest today such that the investment would grow to a particular value in the future. And I like that statement. And I think that really um, sums it all up, uh, if you know what I mean. I think it sums it up quite nicely. So suppose an individual is presented with an investment opportunity that will pay $5,000 three years from now, right? So in the future, in the future, you're going to get $5,000. The present value represents the amount of money the investor would pay today for the right to receive that $5,000 cash flow in three years. Like future value, present value depends on the interest rate and the timing of cash flows. Okay, so, so, and you can see basically, uh, we use this term called discounting cash flows, and this is the process of finding present values, and it's the inverse of compound interest. So, you can see what they say it's the inverse of compound interest, right? So, you have compounding for future, and you have discounting for present. So discounting determines the present value of a future amount, okay? So there's many names for this annual rate of return. There's many names for this. So we'll, So there's many names that we can give this. And there's a nice personal finance approach right here to it. And you could, they're kind of showing you the equation already, right? And uh, basically, uh, what they're basically telling you, that in the future, you're going to receive, if Paul is going to receive $300 uh, one year from now, right? What is the most that Paul should pay for this op opportunity? So they're telling Paul, invest money today, and in a year we'll give you 300 So if you go through this uh, equation here, and here's the future value, and you solve for the present value, and you see that what Paul should do is he should pay $294.12 to receive $300 a year from now, okay? So it's that simple, and the interest rate is 2%. Okay, so here's the equation for uh, present value, and I don't know if I can, I don't know, sometimes these are, I try to highlight equations, Oh, actually, this one will highlight. No, I, I guess it. Oh, there you go. So here's the present value equation, which is 5.2 in your book. Okay, here's another present value example. And this is with Pam Valenti. And now again, she, uh, how much... Uh, an investment opportunity is going to pay her seventeen hundred dollars eight years from now. So, what should Pam invest today to receive seventeen hundred dollars um, eight years from now? And the answer is she should invest twelve hundred forty-two dollars and and seventeen cents. And you can see the nice timeline. They show a nice timeline here. Here's the future. Here's the present. And once again, you can use a financial calculator if you have one, or Excel. And let me bring up Excel, and let me try to do this again with you. If I click on F of X, and this time I'm going to type PV, all right, and we'll say go, and we'll say okay, and here's the present value function, and you just pop in uh, numbers, the numbers, okay? And you should try this to make sure you understand. If you have any questions, please uh, give me a, a shout, okay?
So I just wanted to show you that. And here's the graphical view of present value, right? The higher the interest rate you get in the future, the less you have to invest today because it'll grow much faster, right? So this is um, how uh, this is the opposite of future value, right? So here's a nice graphical view of uh, present value. All right, so let's... Uh, All right, so now we're going to talk a little bit about annuities. And, and now, an annuity, and that's a, uh, an important word, an annuity is not a single amount of money. An annuity is a continuous stream of money that you put in. So, for instance, for instance, um, if you have a 401k, you take money out of your paycheck, let's say every two weeks or every month or every week, uh, whatever, and it's the same amount of money. So how much would you pay today for an investment that pays three thousand dollars at the end of each of the next 20 years so it's important to understand that an annuity can go um one of two ways you can invest in an annuity right put money in every year right and hope to get some uh, uh, amount at the end or um at the end of the period um you could um receive money at the end so an, an example of this is your 401k where you put money in right in the beginning for several years, right? And then at the end, you start taking your money out and that's an annuity in the other direction. And Social Security is the same way, right? You put money in your from your paycheck into Social Security uh, and, right? and then you take money out when you retire. So let's see what the definition is. It's a stream of equal periodic cash flows over a specified time. And they arrive at annual intervals, but they can also occur at other intervals, such as monthly uh, rent or car payments, whatever, right? Okay, so there are basically two types of annuities. There's an ordinary annuity where you put money in at the end of the period right and then there's an annuity due where you put money in at the beginning of the period so maybe you get paid once a month but they have a special deal where they would take the money from you at the beginning of the period right so you can see this is the end of the period and this is the beginning of the period And here's a nice example of Fran Abrams, and you could clearly see the difference. Um, here's the uh, ordinary annuity. You're putting it in at the end of year one. This is the beginning of year one, even though it's year zero, right? This is the end of year one, an ordinary annuity, right? And this is the beginning of year one, right? Even though it says year zero. So please make a, a note how these how they differ. So. So this would be January 1st, 2000. This would be January 30, uh, December 31st, 2000. Okay. So, so this is the way. So there's these two types of annuities we have to know. Okay. And it's all a matter of timing with, with regard to those. Okay. All right. And, and it's a, one thing we're going to learn in, in this chapter, the value of an annuity due is always going to be greater than the value of an ordinary annuity because you're putting the money in earlier. I hope everybody's clear about that. If you're not, email me. All right, so I'm going to stop here, and I'll pick up at finding the uh, future value uh, of an ordinary. We'll pick up and we'll start doing the calculation because the, uh, the equations are a little complex. All righty, everyone be safe and uh, take care of yourselves and wash your